hello so this is just a reminder if um, you watch uh, my videos consistently and you want to know if and when I'll be uploading them you can just um, go over to the Facebook page and to Blessings Corner and like it the page so that you can get the link and know the weeks when I would not be able to make a video and also if you want to have like animation for your children in the story part of the um, videos you can check the um, description box of the YouTube video when I whenever I upload it and then you can um, find the link where you can watch uh, an animated video so this is just extra updates for um, if you want to um, I mean continue um, watching and know to know when I'll upload the videos and so let's get into our video for this week Let's pray. Lord, thank you for this Sabbath. Thank you for blessing us during the way. I pray, God, that you please help us as we learn the lesson for this week. Also help us as we learn the craft. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our memory verse for this week's lesson is from Luke 1.76. And it says, you will go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him. Now, let's learn the action. You will go on before the Lord. You will go on before the Lord. You will go on before the Lord to prepare the way, to prepare the way for him. For him. Let's do it again. You will go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him. Luke 1. Oh. Hmm. How do we do 76? 76. We cannot do 70 like this, it will take so long. <laughs> So, we're just going to do seven and six. Okay, let's do it together again. You will go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him. Luke 1, 4, 76. Let's practice the action together one last time. You will go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him. Luke 1, 4, 76. Now you may practice the action until you memorize the verse. The title for this week's Bible story is, His name is John. Our story for this week is about a couple named Elizabeth and Zechariah. Elizabeth and Zechariah had longed for a baby for a very long time. But now that they were old, they had given up hope. Like, this baby is just not coming. And then the thing is, Zechariah was a priest. And in the time, the priest had um, several compartments and several parts. There's a part called the Holy Place. And a priest gets the chance probably just once in their lifetime to serve and to burn incense in that holy place. This time it was Zechariah's turn and he was so thrilled and so excited that finally I'll get to be able to pray for the people in the holy place. And so he got what he needed, the censer with the burning coals and he sprinkled the incense on it and then he went into the holy place. There he prayed about uh, for the people and the forgiveness of their sins. He also prayed about the coming Messiah and the sweet um, smell of the incense filled the whole place. Suddenly, Zechariah felt that he was not alone in the room. And then he looked around and then he saw an angel. He was so scared that he trembled. 
But the angel told him not to be afraid. And then the angel said, Your wife will have a son. You will call him John. You will go and prepare the way for the Lord. So I was like, what? A baby? In this old age? <laughs> he doubted the words of the angel. And so the angel told him, Because you have doubted my words, you will be silent until this happens. And the angel left. So Zachariah tried to continue praying in the holy place, but no words were coming from his mouth. And by this time, Zechariah was already inside the holy place for a long time. The people outside were afraid that, oh, maybe something has happened to him. And when he eventually came out, his face was all glowing. But when he tried to speak, nothing came out. Nobody could understand what he was saying. So he was trying to use gestures to show that, hey, I saw an angel. But nobody understood what he was saying. So when he got home, you know, his wife was happy. Hey, he's a cry, you're back. But the cry could not speak. So he had to use gestures and he had to write to be able to communicate with his wife and his family members. So some months later, they Elizabeth gave birth to a baby. And when the family came together to name the baby, she said, his name is John. And then the family members thought, um, Nobody in this family is John. The only father is Zechariah. The child should get the name of his father. And so they turned to Zechariah to ask him, Okay, so are you agreeing with your wife? Is this the name you're going to give your child? And then um, Zechariah asked for um, writing materials and then he wrote the name of the. And then he wrote on the. That's a paper. So he wrote on the paper, His name is John. And then, oh, okay. So the family had to accept that that was the name of their baby. And that was how the, um, after that, um, Zachariah was able to speak again. And then he was finally able to tell them verbally everything that happened, what the angel said to him, and how it happened just as the angel had said. When this baby John grew up, he called the people to repentance and prepare the way for the Messiah, who is Jesus. And just like baby John, God has a plan for each and every one of our lives. We can prepare the way for the second coming of Jesus today by serving those around us and helping people to meet the, their needs. When you help people and you meet their needs, they'll be more willing to listen to you when you want to tell them about Jesus. So. As you go in this week and after listening to this story, I hope you will remember to always try to be kind to those around you and do something to um, prepare the way for um, Jesus in the hearts of the people around you. And that is the story for this week. In our story for this week, Zechariah had to write the name of his son. And we're going to um, do something like that for our craft. And so this is our craft for this week. So the thing is, I used um, the wet glue and that's why, um, see these parts, they look wet, like there's water in them because of the glue. So sorry it looks that way. But anyway, that is the craft and you can, this is simple craft, see, <laughs> just with papers and marker and pencil and yeah, you get to see that when you watch the video. So now you may watch the video on how I made this craft.
So after you set aside the whole uh, the one paper, now you're going to cut um, another paper in the form of a rectangle, like the landscape form. Um, so next you write um, the title of this week's lesson. His name is John. So you just write that on the landscape rectangle paper. Now you take the big paper that you had earlier and write on the corner Luke 163 and put uh, the landscape paper first so that you'll see how well it fits. Now you, you take another colored paper and you trace your hand on it. Put your hand like in the shape of like you're writing, you know. So you put your hand on the paper that way. Then you trace and cut. After that, you take another color of paper and cut out a pencil, the shape of a pencil or a pen. I already kind of had this shape thing already, so yeah, that's why it was easier for me to cut. But basically, just cut out the shape of the pencil. Now it is time to put everything together. So you just glue all the parts together as I did. And then I used the wet glue so it ended up looking um, spotchy. So you can either use the double sided tape or just um, the um, stick glue. Yeah. And that is the end of our craft. See you next week.